Hey, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video, and today we have one from Corgi. It is 148th scale diecast, but it is from the World War I 1914 to 1918 century editions from the Aviation Archive. Of course, these are a limited edition, and this is the Fokker DVII, or Fokker D7. And uh, this was a German World War I fighter that was designed late in 1918 with around 3,300 aircraft produced in the second half of 1918, but only around 775 would actually see service by war's end. Um, it was a very capable aircraft, so uh, and so much so that a clause in the armistice required Germany to hand over all surviving aircraft to the Allies. And it did see service uh, with many countries after World War I for a time as well. What we'll do is we'll get this particular aircraft out of the box. It is an unusual looking aircraft, this one. It is flown by Wilhelm Schutzel from Justa 65. So we'll, we'll grab this uh, out of the box and have a look at it. And as you can see, it is you know, set up in the usual way these aircraft do come in with a little stand and the aircraft sitting snug in that blister pack. It does come with a collector card, obviously. I, uh, they are a limited run of... 1,200 so there is a, not a great deal of these so you know if you want one grab one and what we'll do is we'll, we'll get this out of the packet so with the packet out of the box we'll just take that lid off and get access to this wonderful looking aircraft and uh, hope that it comes out nicely we'll move that out of the way as well so you can have a real good look at this extremely colorful aircraft and as I said this was one flown by uh, Wilhelm Schutzel from Jester 65, he, he only just joined Jester 65 by July of 1918 and uh, lasted there till war's end with uh, one aerial victory. So I think it's more this uh, aircraft that uh, makes him the subject of our model today uh, rather than his um, military achievements. So it has an extremely unusual library. So we'll have a little, we'll jump straight into that right now. And as you can see there, it has a, a massive uh, amount of artwork there with uh, all those dudes uh, with a giant spear trying to kill a, a rabbit or a hare. And um, that, is, uh, that is from an old German uh, a fable called the Seven Swabians. And um, that's, that's what that depicts there. So it is very unusual. It does adorn his aircraft and it looks really cool. You know, it's something a little bit different. And um, the, whole, the whole aircraft is quite colourful, to be honest. Uh, I think back in World War I, it, was, it wasn't really about camouflage. It was all about letting others know who you were and uh, if you were an ace, um, to make people sort of fear your arrival. And uh, this, this aircraft itself, it does look pretty cool. We'll have some little close-ups of the engine there. Hopefully you can see that detail. The propeller does turn, not, not too freely, but it, it doesn't really matter. It still turns, so you can uh, put it in a position, whatever you want. And I'll put my hand there, see what kind of bracing. There's a little bit of bracing underneath here. It's hard to see because it, it is so thin. You can just see that uh, on where the wheels are and the undercarriage is. That is crazy. We'll just flip it over and have a little look underneath. Look at that. <laughs> that mottling, that, 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 that on, the, on the fabric of those wings is crazy insane the amount of colors and detail in there this looks pretty pretty cool so oh, i think it's a very nice looking unit for a a, a world war one fighter uh these are these are quite intricate from corgi especially if it does have a lot of bracing this one although it does not like as in the wire bracing and i reckon it i reckon it looks really nice we'll have a little look on this side it does have a little Wilhelm city in there. It's got some great sort of gun detail and pilot detail. I think it looks really nice. But I do say that a lot. <laughs> and as I say, look, I am extremely easily pleased. So I reckon as long as that model looks really tidy and there's no massive obvious flaws, I'm generally a pretty happy camper. But, you know, if you're into your World War I, you know, aircraft and stuff like that, this is another fine addition to your collection. But what I'll do is I'll wind this, this one up. I'll put Wilhelm down. We'll put him there. We'll zoom in a fraction, yeah. And there we go. <laughs> but 
But uh, yeah, as I said, I reckon it's a pretty cool one. So once again, this is by Corgi. It's 148 scale die cast. It is the Fokker DVII or the Fokker D7. And it is the one flown by a Wilhelm Schutzel from just the 65 uh, towards the end of 1918. I think it was September 1918. And it is the one with that extremely unique livery on his aircraft from that old German fable, the Seven Swabians. And uh, I reckon it's a pretty cool looking thing. So uh, you know, hopefully you do too. And if you do, throw us a like. That would be awesome. And if you've yet to subscribe to the channel, please feel free to do so. I am really enjoying everyone that has so far. It's been a, a bit of a, a ride. We're getting up to our 12-month 12, 12 uh, milestone, so it's been a bit of a journey, and I've been enjoying every moment, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed your time with me as well. All right, guys, thank you so much. Um, I, I nearly forgot. I grabbed this off eBay, of course. Uh, it was around 100 bucks. This was a second-hand purchase and uh, from a collector that was downsizing. If you can grab one at a good price, grab one. These are a pretty cool-looking unit for sure. All right, guys, thank you so much. You know the deal. Stay tuned till after this video. I'll take some photos of this aircraft and you can check it out without my fat ass sausage fingers in the way. And uh, you can see it in, in all its metal goodness. All right. Thank you once again for uh, taking the time to watch one of my videos. I hope you did enjoy it. And you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.